Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a fashion haul from Light in the Box. Uh, this is the first time I'm working with them. This video is not sponsored, but these were sent to me. Uh, with that being said, just know that even though clothes are sent to me, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna say I like them if I don't like them. So if anything is not great quality or whatever, for some reason I don't like it, I will let you guys know. So anyways, I'm gonna get right into it because I don't wanna chatter on too much but before we begin if this is your first time watching make sure you click that subscribe button right now and also don't forget to click the notification bell so that way youtube will notify you every time i post a new video and i just want to let you guys know if you notice my voice is off i'm still sick i i don't feel like sick i don't have any um headaches or anything like that but you know my nose is stuff my you can hear I'm congested so I just want to let you guys know and if this is your first time welcome and I hope you stay and click that subscribe button alrighty so now let's move on to the haul starting off with this top right here so I got this one in a size medium I do wish I got it in a size large or extra large because the way this button-up top is I would like it to be oversized where I just throw it over um, like over a white tank top and maybe some jeans or shorts yes here in Cali it's still hot so I can still get away with wearing shorts I actually really love this I think it's really good quality it feels really nice in the body it doesn't overheat me which to me that's a big deal it's a very nice material it's not itchy or scratchy that to me is another pet peeve is something is itchy and scratchy I cannot like I cannot deal with it so this I would definitely recommend um, I'm not sure if they have in different colors but I think they probably do like two other colors but I got this one because I just thought it was a really beautiful blush pink and then moving on to I would say this is my favorite from the whole haul this I absolutely love it is this polka dot dress it is so unique so it looks like this and I did get it in a size medium the sleeves look like this. It is already cuffed, so it doesn't uncuff. I like the fact that it stays that way. I really love the fact that this buttons up, like, right here. And then, I don't know if you can see. Obviously, as I style it, you guys will see what I mean. It has this right here where you tie it around. And then it kind of has this scrunched up right here, which I feel like it looks so flattering i know this is a new style of dress and i just think it looks so beautiful so unique and this one really stood out to me i really love polka dots but i'm picky with them at the same time and this to me was like polka dots done right i like the fact that they're small and this just overall is a nice dress one thing i do want to mention this has no stretch whatsoever so just keep that in mind and i got this in the medium like i said and it fits perfectly i love this one so so much and then for a dress that i would say is okay um yeah it's it's this one right here this is super long i'm gonna insert a picture of the model wearing it just because i'm not able to style it for you guys so this has no stretch whatsoever and it is very tight up here so there's like no way for me to make this dress work and not only that i would say that the dress is like okay quality it's not the greatest quality to be if i'm being honest but it's okay so personally for me i would say i would not recommend it on to shoes i did pick up three of their shoes because i seen it and they look really nice and i really wanted to try them out first ones are these right here so these to me they look like literally like princess shoes they look like this and these have actually been on my wish list i seen them also on amazon and other places like shein and i seen that they have this one and i i was just like wow these are so gorgeous i have to try them they do wrap around your feet like so and then it has this closure here the one thing i don't understand is that the closure looks like that so in order to close it you close it like so which i wish they didn't do that to be honest with you because i just don't get it why um other than that i think this is a really nice heel it does have the cut opening right here a little bit so you can have air to breathe really nice like the, the it's literally rhinestones everywhere as you can see um it has this little rhinestone in the middle as well hopefully you guys can see that and this is about a three inch heel I don't really like high high heels but this is 
the heel preference for me it's actually very comfortable it is white feet friendly because I do have white feet so in case you guys do too just know that these are actually super comfortable I'm very impressed because I did not think these are gonna be comfortable usually pumps like this I always have problems with them and a lot of times I will always have to use my shoe stretcher from Amazon to stretch these out in order for my feet to feel comfortable I would definitely say these are a go all except for this if you don't mind this the way they have this like this hook I don't understand unless I'm missing something guys and it's supposed to like go in somehow like this and I don't know tell me guys is this how it's supposed to be because I've never seen it like that you see what I'm saying but anyways, um, other than that, I do think this is a really nice pair of shoe. And then moving on to two pairs of shoes that are a fail. So the first ones are these right here. And they look like this. And these actually have, have been on my wish list as well. I've seen them on Amazon and I was debating if I should get them or not or if I should just wait on it. Well, I've seen that they have them, so I was like... This is the perfect time. I'm going to try them out. It's about 3 inch heel. Uh, this is clear plastic and very comfortable I have to say. I don't have any problems with them. But the problem with these shoes that I don't understand. I hope it's just my shoe and not all the other shoes that they have in stock. This has a weird film. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it has a weird film that doesn't look quite clear as I want it to be and at first when I got in the mail and I saw that I thought maybe it was just like it had some type of film that I just have to wipe off I try to wipe it off it doesn't does not come off it has the same thing here and when you put it on your feet it's not as noticeable but it's still um, to me annoying enough where I have to mention it to you guys that I don't recommend these unless it was like a like you know mine was just an oopsie and all of them are awesome I don't know uh, but because of that, I had to mention it. Um, overall, it's still a nice shoe. I just cannot wear these because of that. It just bothers me. The rhinestone's really nice. I know these are inspired by a really expensive high heel that is like identical, but yeah, it's a fail. And then the last pairs of shoes that I got from them are these right here. These are supposedly like Zara dupes. I've seen it on their website that it says on the heel Zara. Um, but when you get in the mail, it doesn't say Zara. So I think they use the real pictures of the Zara heels to let us know that these are, you know, lookalikes. Um, and they are really nice. Very classy heels. Very comfortable. White feet friendly again. The problem I have with these is that these are outstretched. I got them this way. So this one is very outstretched. You see the elastic part? This one is not as outstretched, but this is. And for that reason my feet is literally coming out of my uh out of the shoe i just cannot get over it and if it wouldn't be for that i would definitely say pick them up they're amazing this is a really nice shoe i love the fact that you know it has a square heel and then it's pointy right here so really really nice but this i cannot unless i was debating on like you know cutting this off and you know just uh sewing it because i'm i can kind of alter uh certain things i can see it and if i if i fix it sometimes i'm able to fix it sometimes i'm not so i'm debating if i should just sew this together and then it would be perfect because overall i really do love this shoe though like i think this is a very great quality just that bugs me so if you can if you know a way you can fix that and you get the same shoe where this is all stretched then I would definitely say get it. Um, that's what I'm debating. I think most likely I'll do that. Other than that, they're really nice. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're still watching, you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button right now. And until next time, remember, God bless. Bye.